Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Matt with Coyote Creek Archery here in Ellis, Kansas, and it's bow review season. New bows are coming out. It's uh, middle of October, 2024. So um, I've got some new bows to talk to you about today. And we're gonna start um, with the new lineup from Elite. They came out with three new bows, um, three new flagship bows for this year. Uh, two of them are very similar, but there are some differences in these. Um, so I'll do these reviews individually. Uh, the first bow I want to talk about is one that hasn't caught as much attention. So I wanted to start with this one because it hasn't caught quite as much attention. Uh, and this is the Elite Kairos. Okay, and you can see it's a little bit longer axle to axle bows. This is a 33 inch axle to axle bow. As all the technology that Elite is known for that they've had in their previous bows. Um, very similar setup to what they had with the Omnia last year uses the same modules um, and um, so it gives you a lot of adjustability with the module not only in your draw length with quarter inch draw length adjustments but also with your let off now this is a different cam this is a little bit smaller cam this is the spx cam that they put on the kairos okay you can see how the name is, is spelled there um, it's a little bit smaller cam with the spx cam but it uses the same modules that you would use on the Omnia, uh, that you would use on uh, their other flagship bows for this year, the e Ethos, the Allure, and the Kairos. So a um, little bit smaller cam and a little bit shorter draw length adjustment, and that's what this bow is meant for. Um, looking at the specs on this bow, again, we are 33 inches axle to axle. Brace height is 6.5 inches. Our draw length adjusts from 24 inches on the short end up to 29 and a half. So this bow is designed more for um, short draw length archers. Mass weight is four and a half pounds. We have speeds up to 335 feet per second. Let off adjustment up to 90% and comes in peak draw weights of 40, 50, 60, 65, and 70 pounds. Also comes in a lot of color options. This bow here in particular is their OD green color. Uh, but if you look on their website, you'll see there are, goodness, we've got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 different colors that uh, this bow will come in. So you have a lot of options to customize your colors for what you want with this bow. Um, pricing has gone up just a little bit on these bows for this year with inflation, with everything else. Um, so you're looking at uh, an MSRP of $12.99 on these bows. You're probably going to be able to find them a little bit cheaper. In your local or archery shop so just check with your local elite dealer and see what their pricing is um, but the msrp has gone up this year um, as you would expect it's gone up with about everything um, but anyways back to the bow the kairos again like i said similar to the omni that they had last year we've got an inch longer in our axle to axle length we've got a little bit different riser design with some of the cutouts and the way that the riser is shaped, but the technology and everything is still there. We've got, you know, still have the double burger holes. We still have the two sets of holes for mounting our sight. <clears throat> we still have the um, LTR, the tunable roller guard here. So you can adjust that to get uh, flashing clearance or to make some, some, tuning, um, some tuning changes to your bow if you're wanting to. Still has the set, okay? where you can pivot this limb pocket and adjust your left to right tear. Now I have found that these bows tune very well. Um, this bow here in particular, I put uh, a brush rest. This is just an octane octagon brush rest that I put on here, centered it up to the burger holes, leveled up my arrow, and uh, I think two shots, I had a, a perfect bullet hole. So I did not have to mess with the set at all. That's what I have found on most of, most of these bows in paper tuning. I can paper tune with the rest, with very small adjustments with that rest. And then once I go out and I'm shooting broadheads and I wanna make some small corrections to my broadhead flight, then I'll go to my set and maybe make some small tweaks there and get those broadheads flying where I want them. But um, very easy to tune, very quick tuning bows. And um, like I said, two shots and I had this bow tuned. Um, you do have holes to mount a, the Elite Quiver here, or you can also use some two-piece quivers. You know, Tight Spot and some others offer a two-piece quiver. 
so you can mount that there if you would like to. You've got two locations up front for your stabilizer, and it does come with this little vibration dampener, which will unscrew. Uh, it does take some of the felt vibration out of the bow, so if you wanted to take this off, you could put your, um, your stabilizer a little bit lower if you wanted to. You have the option to do that. You do have a threaded hole in the back for a back bar mount, but you can also use this hole here on the riser just above your quiver mounting hole. Um, Elite does have a back bar mount, their sidekick, uh, which mounts right into here. So you have the option to use this or the threaded mount on the back either way. Now you've got some vibration reduction on the string stop, also down here on the bottom of the riser, just like you've seen on their, their previous bows. Um, grips are really nice. Probably one of my favorite grips is the Elite grip. And these bows balance very well. Got some more bridging in the riser, which the Elite bows are known for, um, front and back. Same thing, top and bottom. And we've got a new cutout here on the back side of the riser as well. Very nice looking bow. It's a 33 inch axle to axle. Um, this is a bow that I've kind of been interested in. This bow and the Ethos, which is very similar. Um, since I'm looking for something a little bit longer, I'm shooting a 30 inch axle to axle bow now for my hunting setup. I'd like to have a secondary bow um, for hunting, for maybe doing some 3D shooting and that type of thing, and just to have fun with and just to shoot a little bit longer bow. So uh, this fits into really to what, what I've been looking for and I'm excited about these offerings. This bow does come with the smooth mod. So you can see this gray colored module. This is their smooth mod. Uh, you can put a performance mod on here if you want to. You can actually use the modules that came with the Omnia will fit on here as well. They did make a small adjustment to this and um, I will show you the difference here. In their previous modules with your let off adjustment, there was a little brass gear that you would turn um, to move this. They took that out. Basically it was unnecessary and uh, provides for a little tighter tolerances take some of the rattle out of the bow. Sometimes when you would draw back, there'd be a little bit of a clicking noise or a rattle back there with the Omnia. And uh, this will not have that because it's simply just a set screw that you would loosen. And then you can just slide this forward or backward. You can still set your, uh, your limb stop on there if you want to. So we've got these holes to place our limb stop. And then this pad that is mounted to the limb so that you've got a limb stop. But otherwise, um, this cable stop is very solid because it is a very wide cable stop. You can see here, I've got quite a bit of surface area. So very solid back wall. Um, draw feels very similar to that of the Omnia. It is um, a little bit stiffer with the performance mods. Smooth mods, just a very smooth draw and a very nice shooting bow. And I think you'll see um, when we get to shooting this bow what that looks like. No vibration, very, very dead. Um, aims very well and being a 33 inch axle to axle, it's going to hold on target very nice as well. So this is the Kairos again, make sure I get that right, Kairos. And this bow is uh, kind of geared towards someone with a little bit shorter draw length, 24 to 29 and a half inch on the draw length again, and you can go in quarter inch increments. So you've got a lot of adjustability. And then again, with those mods, you can adjust your, uh, your let off. So, um, that's enough about the specs of the bow. Let's go shoot it, see what the draw cycle looks like, and then we'll look at what's, what speeds we're getting. So it's time to shoot. Um, again, I've got the Elite Kairos Dubo for 2024. I have um, the Smooth Mods, which come standard on this bow. If I can get this arrow out of my way to show you. So they're the gray module. You can see it says Smooth right up here. So these are the Smooth Modules. And, um, <clears throat> My um, draw length is set at 27 and three quarter. I'm a 28 inch draw length. I find these bows run just a little bit long. So I, rec I like to run it about a quarter inch short. 27 and three quarter works really well for me. Feels really good. Um, this is a 70 pound bow and I like to shoot 60 pounds. So I back these limb bolts out three turns. Elite um, says no more than three turns with backing out the limb bolts. I did that and I got 60.8 pounds on the draw weight. So it's really close to 60 pounds. So I like that. And um, we're just gonna shoot it, 
and I'll tell you what the draw cycle feels like and um, what it feels like to let up and then we'll uh, then we'll see what it, what speeds we get through the chronograph. So very smooth, very linear on the draw. Uh, back wall is very solid. You can see there's really not much of a give back there. I um, there is maybe just a slight dump into a valley, but it's not much at all. It's not aggressive. Very smooth feeling draw. To let this bow up, there's a lot of let off there, and then it wants to go. So <clears throat> we can adjust this right here with our let off setting. I do not like the 90% let off. Um, for me, I would like to have a little bit more weight at the back end because it feels like there's really nothing there, and I have to almost push it forward before it really wants to take off and go. So I would adjust the let off setting. That's just my personal preference. You may like something a little bit different, but um, I don't. Uh, I don't care for that much. And I may. I may adjust that as we shoot this and see what see what it feels like, and see if we can compare that a little bit with an adjustment. But let's take a shot. See what it feels like to shoot. I like the draw cycle. Bow holds very well, and it's absolutely dead. <laughs> I. I didn't really feel anything when it went off. Um, really not much of a buzz or anything in the riser. So very dead in the shot. Um, it felt very nice. Let's shoot it through the chronograph with the smooth mods and see what we get for speeds. Okay, so this will be our first shot through the chronograph with the Elite Kairos. Again, um, 27 and 3 quarter inch on the draw length at 90% let off. I am 60.8 pounds on the draw weight. I'm shooting a gold tip hunter. XT 300 spine, arrow weighs 410 grain. So kind of just your basic hunting setup that you might might come across. And um, we'll see what we get for a speed out of this. This is the smooth mod that comes standard on the bow. Two fifty eight. So pretty good speed out of this bow for the smooth mods and for as nice as that draw cycle feels. I'm gonna shoot another one, see if we can get a duplicate and get that same speed out of this. And then um, I'm gonna adjust this let off, shoot it again, and then I'm gonna to go to the performance module. So next thing will be, um, we'll shoot our next arrow here. Okay, this is arrow number two, smooth mods. Okay, we got a duplicate. So 258 feet per second with the smooth mods. Um, really pretty good speeds out of this bow for as nice of a draw cycle as we've got. Let me adjust the let off a couple of notches here and we'll shoot it again and see if that helps with that back wall a little bit. So you can see now, I've adjusted that let off just about three marks. Not a lot, um, but it doesn't, I don't think it's gonna take a whole lot to change that feel at the back end. Um, let's see if um, when I draw back and I try to walk that bow forward, if it's not so uh, so difficult to do. There, it was a little bit jumpy. You can see I've got a little bit more holding weight there now. I can feel my draw length is a little bit shorter. Um, but when I want to walk it forward, it's a lot more controllable. Uh, that first time drawing it back, you could see that uh, I hit that back in and it kind of wanted to bounce forward. So let's look at that again. Um, there. <clears throat> Keeps you honest. You've got to make sure that you're pulling through the shot. I do feel a little bit short. I would probably change my draw length back to a tw uh, 28 on this now with that let off adjustment. But um, when I come back forward, um, I'm holding a lot more weight, or not a lot more weight, but I'm holding some more weight to where it's not so like I have to push it so much. So I can maybe even dial that back um, the other direction and um, take some more weight off of that and kind of fine tune it where I want. But you can see it did make a difference there. So we'll shoot one, see what the speed if it makes any difference at all with the speed. Probably not much. Nope, we got another duplicate. So 258 feet per second with the smooth mod. So 
Um, I'm going to switch to the performance modules and we'll see what we get for speed on that. So I've got the Elite Kairos with the performance mods in it now. I switched out to these performance modules. I did not change the let off setting. So we're still at our 90% let off. Um, 27 and three quarter inch on the draw length setting. My draw weight is turned down to 60.8 pounds, three, three turns out on the limb bolts. Shooting the same arrow, it's a Gold Tip Hunter XT, 300 spine, uh, 410 grains on the arrow. Let's take a look at the draw cycle and then we'll shoot to the chronograph and see what we get for speed. Um, there should be, should be a speed increase with this as well. <clears throat> So right there, you can see at the back end, it does build up and get stiffer. And um, there is more of a significant drop into a valley with the performance module. Now through the chronograph, actually first, let me walk this forward and see if there's any difference. We're still on that 90% let off setting. So yeah, I let off and I feel like there's nothing there and then it wants to go. So again, I would, I would prefer to change that that let off setting. I'm not going to mess with that now, but that would make a big difference. I feel like in the back end of that, um, let's shoot to the chronograph, see what we get right there at the back end. You can just see that build up and that dump. Okay. 262. So we are a little bit faster. Uh, let me shoot another arrow so we can confirm that and um, see if that's where we're going to be with our speeds. Okay, arrow number two with the Elite Kairos on performance. Two sixty-three, so two sixty-two, two sixty-three is what we're getting for speed. So there is an increase in speed, um, but there also is a little bit more of an aggressive draw cycle with that. It's not bad. Um, I think it's something that after several shots you would get used to. Um, Personally, I, I would want the, the smooth mods on this bow just because um, that's kind of how this bow would be set up. I would not have it set up as a speed bow, so I wouldn't want that more aggressive draw cycle. I would stick with the smooth mods, um, but you do have the option if that's something that you're interested in. And you can always adjust that let off setting, like I said. Um, but a great bow, nice looking bow, a little bit longer than what they've had. Uh, last year with the Omnia, the year before with the Envision, so it's nice to see um, a little bit longer bow. And um, I'm really liking it, really digging it. Elite bows, the, um, the quality is, is really hard to beat. The fit and finish is amazing. The finish on these, it's hard to show in a video. You need to go see them for yourself. The grips are really nice. The adjustability, the tunability, the shootability that they talk about is definitely built into these bows. So... Elite Kairos for 2024. It's um, just a great shooting bow. I'm really excited about these. Um, but like I always say, don't just take my word for it because I'm just a dummy in front of the camera that's talking to you. Uh, make sure that you go into your local archery shop. Hopefully it's here at Coyote Creek Archery and come see these bows for yourself. Come, uh, come shoot them. I'll set them up to your specs and we'll shoot them and uh, see what you think about them firsthand before uh, just trusting someone else's internet review youtube review that type of thing but um, i put this information out there just to help you out help you to make an informed decision see if this is something that you might be interested in but make sure that you get out and shoot these and check these out yourself so anyways new bows for from elite for 2024 are out and i'm uh, excited to show them to you folks thanks for watching have a great day and god bless